This tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello, you probably know that Maya started with NURBS modeling in version number one a long time ago, and uh, the polygons came much later. So um, it's a really strong program for industrial design. I go to the front window and I choose under curves and surfaces this tool here. It's the standard tool to create curves. And I click five times. One, two, three, four, five. And I press enter. This is the first curve. And I create the second one by pressing G, which repeats the last command. I could also click here and restart the process again. One, two, three, four, five. And the third time, press the key G. One, two, three, four, five. Now, when I go to the perspective window, I see uh, the three curves and I will separate them. I move this one, the first one to the left. The second one I leave where it is and the third one goes all the way to the right. Now when I select them one after the other, the selection sequence is important here and click here or surfaces loft, I create this quite nice surface. Right mouse click new material Arnold standard surface shader now I want to show you how to extend this surface the standard way to extend it is by selecting it and go to surfaces and extend and when you use the option box you find lots of other options to extend that surface but when we don't use it it uh, extends in this direction and uh, when you go to the option box, you have tangent, extrapolate, distance. You can raise that distance. Now it's much further away from the original. And you can extend it in the V direction, which is this direction. Apply. So it goes up here. And you can uh, extend the uh, in both directions, which gets a little bit funky now. I reset the settings and I close it and I undo all the last steps. Now I have the surface as we created it. Now I want to show you something uh, about extending the surface using curves again. I go to the front window again and now I create very complex, detailed, tiny curves. I go to this tool again and I create one, two, three, four, five. So this is a tiny curve with five uh, CVs. I press G. One, two, three, four, five. And I press G again. One, two, three, four, five. So we have three more curves now. And I separate them. Uh, like I did before. The first one goes to the left, the second one stays where it is, and the third one moves to the right. And I can actually rotate it a little bit like this and move it over here again. Now um, I connect these curves with the previous curves. So the first one is this one, and I want to connect these two. I go to curves and here we have attach and I use the attach command without the uh, really powerful option box and now I have a curve which makes a compromise between these two curves the original curves and I do the same thing with the second one and I select the second one press G so I have this connection now curve 3 and curve 6 and the key G and I have that connection. Now I hide this surface because now we can use the here in the outliner the attached curves these three which have much more detail in in the end or on the right hand side and now I create a loft again and now I have this detail on this 
right side of the surface. So you see our two surfaces, which we elegantly changed using the attach command and the extend command. When we extend this surface, of course we can do this, uh, and I extend it, it goes like this. Well, there are lots of tutorials about NURBS modeling in this channel and in other folks' channels, which I really appreciate. And apart from that, you find a, an extended course an in-depth course on Udemy and Skillshare, which I created for people who want to get really into NURBS modeling and the power of these tools. And they are still key to industrial design. If you want to create a coffee machine or a car, you need to know these tools. And of course, you can always transfer them into polygons later. Modify, convert, NURBS to polygons. In this case, to quads, not triangles, and this is the polygon surface. Have a nice day.